Hey guys, welcome back to 3 Mississippi. Sid here. It's officially springtime, guys. Things are blooming and looking amazing, and we are knee deep in projects and things that we wanna get done heading into summer. But I thought I would take you guys on a little bit of a tour and show you some of the progress that some of the animals have made and some of our plants. Let's go. these are but they are beautiful there's a wasp on that one though Blech. but guys my my flower beds up front here my hostas are coming in I got to cut back some of that ivy because it'll just take over but that's a transplant that's a transplant that one's a transplant I'm not sure if that one's gonna make it though and I just weeded it out here never mind this hose Mike was working on his his fruit trees that we're about to put in the ground but look at the size of this hosta guys look at that like in relationship to my hand it's ginormous but look at these gorgeous giant hostas i mean absolutely amazing my wandering judes are looking sad from being inside for so long but they're starting to come back doing well i've got my one citronella plant that survived the winter that i had brought all four of them inside but that's the only one that survived and then i've got my my hummingbird feeders out here they've been going crazy you guys will get a kick out of this <laughs> so i was working with our new pressure washer and you can see exactly how tall i am <laughs> because that is where i gave up i couldn't get any taller and i couldn't every time i moved the ladder i thought i was gonna fall so i basically did the bottom and the sides um and did this little section here and the porch our big pressure washer the pump went out so mike's actually ordered a new pump so that we can finish that project and kind of get it done uh because it's been driving me crazy uh, i told mike i was like that really needs to be done like twice a year where you kind of pressure wash the front of the house uh, but our pressure washer was broken he was kind of tinkering around with it trying to get it fixed but he now realizes that it's something wrong with the pump and so we did get a little like battery powered pressure washer, but that job is too big for that one. Um, you have to get like right up on it and, and do it. And it's just, it's not happy. It's not happy. Beulah's been doing great guys. In fact, her, she's over here munching. We'll see if she'll come over. She's very, when she gets to in her eating, when she's really heavy grazing, which she is right now. Hi mama, are you gonna come over? She doesn't like it when I have the selfie stick that much. So she may not. She kind of looked at me and went, mm, maybe not. Maybe not, we'll see. Feel me. Ooh, this fence post is loose. Ooh, daddy need to fix that. Oh yeah, that one's really loose. And that tie has come off the bottom. Always finding something to fix, right? After all this wet and then dry and then wet and then dry weather, um, having the farrier come out to mess with her a little bit on Saturday, we'll see how she does. <laughs> we'll see how she does. Um, she has her moments. She's been really, really good for like two months now of not trying to bite anybody, uh, better temperament. I've been giving her mare magic for like quite some time now. Um, and I feel like she's finally kind of turned a corner where she really like trusts us more and she's like, this is home and whatever. Um, so she's been doing better. Normally, of course she's making a liar out of me right now. Normally if I come up to the fence line, she comes running right over. Um, but as you can see, a lot of green grass has just popped up. And so she's just like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my thing. Oh, and here comes Bonk. He always has to come find me wherever he is or wherever I am. He's got to come, come make himself known. So as you can see, Mike's garden, some things are planted and some things are not. The garlic that's out here in this front area is almost ready to be harvested and I imagine he's probably got something else that he's wanting to put in this spot because this is sort of like prime real estate if you will uh, and I know he's got a bunch of other plants in fact we'll go look at them in just a second that are ready to go in the ground which some of he like would have already put in the ground but when Dan kept getting out of the enclosure and winding up in the garden Mike did not want to risk planting everything and then 
lose everything. So we finally figured out how Dan was getting out on the backside of that fencing. He was just going under the fence. Now that that has been addressed and fixed, it has been several weeks now with no escapes. Between then, it's just been a matter of bad weather, like raining when Mike had time to actually plant and uh, just lack of time basically to get it in the ground with everything else going on. So, and he wanted to make sure like he was for sure not gonna get out again. So he's, I think, probably in the next few days going to be planting, you know, these other rows here. Um, he pulled off the, the row. Well, this row right here um, is the one that he's terminating. These two rows right here that are kind of in the middle. Uh, that had the cover crop and he's terminating it and letting it lay. I believe that's where he's putting peppers this year. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. And I know he's got a ton of other stuff that he's going to be putting into the ground. In fact, he's got them over here hardening them off. Let's go ahead and take a look. In fact, there's the pressure washer in question. Uh, Mike was messing around with it some more. But yeah, he's still, he's still got some work to do on that. And then, of course, me, yesterday when I was messing with the pressure washer, I managed to get the entire inside of my boots wet and literally had to, like, take them off. Like, it went down and through the top. Like, I sprayed my... I don't even know how I did it. But anyway, these were soaking wet. So I left them out here to dry. <laughs> and then we had a downpour this morning so this one's still got water I need to dump them back upside down yeah a lot of water in there still let those finish drying out on the inside so I, I see look at it. there's water dripping out of it <laughs> Mike's got his plants all lined up here that he's hardening off I think there's well I know there's still some more in the shop but he's got what are these right here oh these are his hot peppers so this is like his scorpions and arapapo and more scorpions what's this down here this is rubina brussels and that's swiss chard so he's got some things mixed in but these are all hot peppers i believe these are tomatoes these look all like tomatoes to me but i don't see what kind they are he must know and these look like maybe tomatoes too. Casey sauce hybrids right here that are gonna be going in the ground. This looks like some kind of butter lettuce. Yep, butter lettuce. Fuzzy Lizzie mustard. Sure. Jalapenos, more tomatoes. Oh, some artichokes. I didn't know he was planting artichokes. He's got some artichokes. We used to have artichoke plant at the old place, so. That's nice. Some different kinds of kale over here. These are better boys. Cherry buzz. We love those. Those are so good. Uh, Sun-dried bumblebees. Yellow pear. Oh my gosh, those yellow pear tomatoes are chef's kiss. Ezrilla Ezra fuzzy lettuce. Come another lofty salad mix and some other kind of something over here. Oh, these are beets. These are his beets. So he's got quite a few plants as you can see, to get into the ground. He had Kenny out here. He was working on cutting some of these edges a little bit better last night and getting ready for the gravel. <laughs> and I realized when this plant started coming back that um, we never cut it back last year. Now it's too late. It's kind of these couple of like, I don't even know what kind of rose bushes they are, but they just have gone, kind of gone crazy. So. It's too late to cut them back now, but they are starting to bloom, which I'm very excited about because they're beautiful. And my elderberries are looking real good. They're coming back like crazy. And there's a bunch of new growth down below. Let me see if I can find one of them where like a shoot started. This one right here, if I don't know if you can see the bottom, but it's separate growth. That one down there is, that one down there is. So there's a few spots where some some new ones have just started around there, which is pretty cool. There's, I think, um, a couple over here by the birds as well. But I'm going to take you in right now and show you guys some of my broody girls that are sitting on nests right now. Good afternoon, dear. Yes, I know. I'm not going to mess with you. So I've got one girl that started laying some eggs here. I don't think she's going to finish. But then this girl has started a nest over here. Not ideal under the roosting rock. <laughs> but she's she's been collecting them so I'm gonna see if she's gonna start sitting now that she's you know starting to get a decent clutch but she is sitting on a bunch of Muscovy eggs and she's been getting off every day I know you're mad mama I'm sorry I know I know you got a big fuzzy on your head too and this girl has been broody and sitting on 
a mix of duck eggs that she started sitting on first and then some chicken eggs that I kind of threw underneath her later. So the timing should be right. Hi babies, how are you doing? You pretty mamas. You pretty mama, somebody's popular. Yeah, somebody's popular. You can tell by the bald spot on your back. Yeah. Well, hello, handsomes. What are doing? What are doing? And my two girls. Well, hello, ma'am. I know you're always all up in my grill. These two are sitting on some duck eggs and a couple chicken eggs. But I noticed that they're, and they always do this. The eggs under them have been dwindling. In the mornings when they get up and go eat and go have a drink and everything, I always check the eggs that they've been sitting on and they are, um, they've definitely been sitting consistently and well, but they make some eggs disappear. And not just eggs that I think that aren't developing well or whatever, I think they just accidentally break them because they're very clumsy. <laughs> so they just kind of break them and then they're like, oh, the egg broke and then they eat it. So these guys, see how they're following me? That's what they do. But they have this whole area down here, but I swear to you, the ducks do hang out down here a lot, but of course they're making a liar of me right now. They're all hanging out up there, but they're funny. They, uh, all this down here sometimes when i feed them i bring it down here and put some of their feed on the ground so that they'll eat some of the some more of the grass and stuff down here some of them are better about it than others the geese are really good about it of course the chickens eat some of it but not as much as i would like um just because i don't know why they just some of those breeds just don't seem to know what to do about it but and then i've got my meat birds way down there we'll go look at them in just a second but this is their whole area right here uh, for now. Pretty soon it's gonna be time to adjust this fence line again for them. Take down the electric fencing, move it a little bit, let this area recover, move them back over there for a little while. Um, and keep kind of switching it up. Everybody has time to roam and the ground has time to recover, especially with all these girls with broody butt. <laughs> they get off the nest and they just kind of everywhere makes kind of a mess. Oh, now Beulah's over there waiting for me. She saw me walking around and she's like, well, I didn't get my loves. And now she's standing there staring at me, giving me the stink eye. She's funny like that. Mike did dump a load of what he scooped out over there right in front of this door for me. I need to level it out, obviously, but this area has become kind of like a muddy sinkhole after it rains. Same with this area here. There's like a like a weird river that kind of just naturally occurs like it just wants to run that way and so he brought over some of what he cut out and put it here so we can spread it kind of fill that area just a little bit because it just becomes really hard when you're bringing like the side by side through or um when you're trying to even just walk across it in your muck boots it gets to be a little bit much but let's take a look at the puppy we have not looked at the puppy in a minute watch out sir Hi, Tashka. Hi, guys. Let me get my camera dirty. Come here. Hi. Hi. Yes, I know you're excited. Can you sit? Tashka, hey. Sit. Yes, good sit. Pussy, you don't have to. <gasps> oh, Pussy. He didn't even jump up. He just knocked me over with sheer, like, just walking into me. Good gravy. Almost hurt my wrist. That's what you get when you're trying to film and do stuff at the same time hi babies so i just keep checking on the girls too she definitely looks like she's preggers to me um this one i thought maybe but i can't tell it's real early and she's you know they're kind of coming back from their maintaining their con body conditioning during the winter um now that the pasture's coming back and everything so just keeping an eye on them, but Tashka's doing great. It's not dinner time, baby. Except I just said the word, didn't I? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Can you sit? Kusi. Why do you have to be right in my face, bud? Kusi. I know. I love you too. Good boy. Good sit. Tashka, sit. Good sit. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Good babies. Are you licking my arm, sir? Good. 
Yes. She's getting spayed in, what is it? I think a week, a week and a half, I think, is when she gets spayed. I have to look at my calendar, but it's coming up. We can get her fixed. He's gonna stay intact and she's gonna be fixed. We're gonna let him get as big and masculine as we can and she's gonna be slightly smaller. What's in your mouth, ma'am? But goats are doing great. Hopefully these two girls are pregnant, we'll know. Um, you know, we had our, our friend's goat, Buck, uh, out here to get the girls in a family way. And hopefully uh, he did his job. Uh, I've noticed some, some changes in not only Anne's temperament, but her body. Um, I've noticed a little bit of change in Caroline's body and her mood, um, which is how she gets when she's preggers. So hopefully they both are. It took him a little while to settle in, so I think the deed didn't happen uh, right out of the gate. But um, I think they're probably, they're gonna be due sometime this summer if it took, um, which I think, I think it did, just looking at him. It's early to tell still, but I mean, I think so. Just gonna walk down to the birds. They're not that far and it's not that muddy or anything out here. It's so warm out right now, even though we had a bunch of rain this morning, um, the ground's actually not too bad. It'll get muddier as we get down here just because this is kind of where the water pools down here. But the birds are doing great. The first batch is growing fantastically. Uh, the second batch that's a little bit younger that's in there with them, uh, not growing as great, not gonna lie. Um, they've just, they've had a real weak constitution. I've lost several of them um, just doing, like just to them being weak um, and getting kind of picked on, just, I don't know, giving up. Like, you know, they'll kind of let themselves be at the bottom of the pig pile, um, which, you know, is a bummer. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but I move them every day. Um, and they were, now Mike just came through and mowed this. So <laughs> I know some of you are gonna be like, why did you turn it and make it curve? Uh, there was, there was no getting it through this area a few days ago, uh, but he just came through and mowed a bunch of this down. And I don't know if he bush hogged it or mowed it, but anyway, they were way up here by that hay bale, by that electric fence when we started. And now they are down here. Um, so I did have to use the side-by-side -side a couple of times to get them unstuck. Uh, because after rain or whatever, sometimes the mud gets real bad and you can't pull it through the mud. So you actually had to kind of hop it up with the side by side to get it off of that hump. And then one time I had to have Mike move it, but most of the time it's good. But we're going to be redoing some things. So next season, this will be a lot easier. But some of these guys are getting pretty hefty. Um, I was hoping to be able to process some, some of them, some more of them this weekend. I think we're gonna have to wait till the following weekend. So they're gonna get a one week reprieve. Some of those bigger ones that are in there. They're eating up, as you can see, I mean, they're just eating up this pasture as we go. Uh, every day I just move it. I know it looks like, it looks like they've been sitting there for three weeks on each spot because it looks so decimated when you move them. They go through it so fast and they just, they eat it so quickly. That and of course they're leaving their other deposits. <laughs> Um, but even if you come back up here guys, I'll show you it's already growing back. This is real marshy right here So bear with me that I don't fall this spot right here. Look how much it's already growing back And this is only like, you know a week ago And it's already like coming back it just brings it back so well. I mean if you look down here This is where we started that first batch And you can see all that green that dark green right there is where they were go poop, right? Like the, the fertilizer that they leave and uh, them being able to eat the, the grass and the bugs and everything is just wonderful. While all but while being, they're being protected from predators. So, and Bunko's back because he's got to, again, he has to follow me. Bunko, what are you doing? I know, you gotta follow me. Follow the leader, buddy, follow the leader. And the goats, of course, now you can see they're out there grazing. Um, of course, when I go in there, they wanna, they wanna see what's up. <laughs> but I'm excited, guys. Some of those eggs that those girls that I showed you that are sitting on, um, they should be hatching in the next two weeks. Uh, that first batch that already 
that she had start, started sitting on a while ago. Um, Muscovy eggs take about 35 days. And then Beulah's back over here now. Hi, Mama. What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you want some loves? Hi. Hi, Mama. Hi. I love you. That's a good girl. Yeah, that good? Yeah. Jeez, I like it when you pick me bouquets, Mama. Yeah, see, I'm a good girl. My attitude is much improved, huh? I have not gone over to Silver and checked out what the pasture is looking like since we burned. It's been a week and a half since we burned that plot. And I would think with as much rain as we've had in the last week and a half, that potentially we should be able to see some regrowth now. Um, there's been enough, I think, sunny days in between the rain that maybe, maybe it's starting to come back. But we're gonna hop in the side by side right now and go check and just see, see how it's doing. And I mean, man, you guys, I can tell <laughs> it's humid. <laughs> if you can't tell by my hair, it's humid. <laughs> I could see it as I was driving up all the new growth already it's incredible the amount of growth that is peppered in and all this black I don't know how well the camera's picking it up but it looks incredible it's already coming back I mean that is pretty cool I mean and it's really I don't even think the camera picks it up as well as the naked eye does but you can just see the 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 green peppered in through the black in this stretch. I mean, it's already, some blades are already, you know, an inch or two tall. I mean, this is gonna be nice, lush, beautiful pasture here. But that's good, that's, I mean, we knew it would come back, but that's pretty incredible. It's like a weird version of the yellow brick road, right? <laughs> I'll be excited to see this in another, you know, a couple of weeks, how this is, how this is coming back and how it's looking, you know, everything is just growing like mad right now. You know, it's one of the things about being in the South and the way our weather is and our climate and our, our environment and the ecosystem, things just want to grow. It just wants to grow. And it's amazing because I've noticed even a difference with my, my animals. We were living in a desert before right? So you had to supplement a lot of their food and you had to um, really make sure that those needs were being met. Whereas here, they can eat the nature more. They can live off of this, you know? And as long as you manage the pasture and the land responsibly, um, you end up with some really good pasture and you end up with some some amazing hay from it to get them through the winter. It's, it's nice to kind of see it sort of coming full circle. This will be our second full year here coming up in July and it's funny in some ways and I've said this before guys some in some ways it feels like we've been here forever and then in other ways it feels like we just got here yesterday. I, I just love the way there's little subtle changes in nature over short amount of time when you're still kind of learning your land or learning the area you know figuring out what areas get marshy and what areas hold water and you know what plants do better here and what's a better area to stick the animals and all of that you know obviously after all that rain we had we had a flash flood a couple weeks ago and it was really really 
running and it was about six feet deep and now it's back down to you know its normal level of just kind of you know maybe a foot deep in spots but mostly pretty shallow but it's so quiet out here i mean i can hear the bugs and the birds and um it's just i i still sometimes i sit here and i'm just like i can't believe this is ours that we live here that these trees are ours and i mean ours in the sense that we get to appreciate them every day and this is you know our land in the sense that this is where we live and we own it but um you know it's still very much belongs to nature <laughs> it always will and it's beautiful so this pasture is coming back it's doing what it do we'll just keep checking on it i'll be uh peppering that in different videos just so you guys can see the the progress of it but for now this is a week and a half after the burn and you can already see green just kind of peppered in through there amazing amazing just thought i'd show you guys this area of the creek right here it's pretty deep right there i mean not deep deep but like you know it's a foot or two of water uh over there right now Ooh, and, uh, and there's still water rushing out after all that rain we had so I don't know, I might have to go do a, a little creek explore. I might just have to. So these are the Sebastopol geese. And these are white broad breasted turkeys, of course. Look at these curious little minxes. Look at them. These are the little turkeys. They're so stinking cute. Hi. 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 I know it's warm in here today, huh? Yeah. They're getting so big. Yeah, the turkeys are doing amazing. And they are so stinking cute. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you trying to do? Oh, I just threw that out. Oh, no, that's not good. Come here. <laughs> the geese are a little bit more skittish when it comes to the selfie stick, but they are doing really well. I know, I know, I know. You're okay. You're okay. What do matter? Yeah, see, you're okay. I know, you don't like it when you first get taken away from them. Little wings are coming in. Oh, sweet baby. So the pasture's starting to come back. My birds are growing like crazy in the brooder. And those mamas are sitting on those eggs. And I will be having nice, wonderful additions to the flock family on that side. I am very excited about that. I cannot wait for some babies that have been hatched out, bred and hatched out here on the farm. That'll be a first for us here since we got to Mississippi. So very excited about that. Thanks for coming along on the ride today, guys, while we checked on everybody and gave you a little bit of an update on what's going on now that we're really into spring and see how the animals are growing and the garden is ready to be really hit hard with all those plants that Mike has been growing from seed. Cannot wait to get all of that rolling this year. We appreciate you guys so much for your interest in our journey and all of your wonderful comments and questions. So if you have anything that you wanna see or that you're curious about, drop it in the comments for me. Uh, if with anything in regards to the animals, if it's a plant question, I likely can't answer it. But if it's an animal question, I probably can. As always guys, stay blessed and safety's off.